Hello dear students. Welcome to the English class. Today I am going to take the lesson The Friendly Mongoose from the supplementary reader of grade 6. Children, have you ever seen a mongoose? Yes, mongoose is a small carnivorous animal which is popularly known to fight and kill snakes, particularly the cobras. The Friendly Mongoose is a very interesting story with a good moral. It is famous story from the Panchatantra. Vishnu Sharma is believed to have written the Panchatantra collection of fables. These stories are mainly written on animals and little creatures imparting moral values and knowledge. This story is about a farmer, his wife and their small son who used to live in a village. There was also a baby mongoose in their house. The farmer and his wife believed that the mongoose would be their son's friend in future. One day, the farmer and his wife went out leaving the child alone with the mongoose and a very strange thing happened. So, let's see what happened. Once, a farmer and his wife lived in a village with their small son. They loved him very much. We must have a pet, the farmer said to his wife one day. When our son grows up, he will need a companion. This pet will be our son's companion. His wife liked the idea. One evening, the farmer brought with him a tiny mongoose. It's a baby mongoose, said his wife, but will soon be fully grown. He'll be a friend to our son. Both the baby and the mongoose grew. In five or six months, the mongoose had grown to its full size, a lovely animal with two shining black eyes and a bushy tail. The farmer's son was still a baby in the cradle, sleeping and crying alternately. Here in the above paragraph, the meaning for the word companion is friend. Bushi means thick. Cradle is a small bed for a baby. Well, students, once there was a farmer who lived with his wife and a small son in a village. One evening, the farmer brought a baby mongoose home. He thought that the mongoose would be their son's friend. The mongoose grew to its full size in five to six months. But the farmer's son was still a baby. So I now continue with the lesson. I go to the next paragraph. One day, the farmer's wife wanted to go to the market. She fed the baby and rocked him to sleep in his little cradle. Picking up the basket, she said to her husband, I am off to the bazaar. The baby is sleeping. Keep an eye on him. Frankly, I don't like to leave the child alone with the mongoose. You needn't be afraid, said the farmer. The mongoose is a friendly animal. It's as sweet as our baby. And they are the best of friends, you know. The wife went away. And the farmer, having nothing to do in the house, decided to go out and take a look at his fields not far away. He ran into some friends on the way back and didn't return for quite some time. Here in the above paragraphs, the meaning for the word rocked means move from one side to another. Frankly means honestly. Well, students, one day the farmer's wife went to the market and she asked her husband to take care of the baby. She did not want to leave her child alone with the mongoose. She feared that the mongoose might harm her child. The farmer assured her not to be afraid. The farmer trusted the mongoose fully. Now the farmer's wife went to the market and the farmer decided to take a look at his fields which was not far away. 
Now I continue with the next paragraph. The farmer's wife finished her shopping and came back home with a basket full of groceries. She saw the mongoose sitting outside as if waiting for her. On seeing her, he ran to welcome her as was customary. The farmer's wife took one look at the mongoose and screamed. Blood, she cried. The face and paws of the mongoose were smeared with blood. Here, in the above paragraph, the meaning for the word grocery means food and other food items you buy from a supermarket. Customary is a usual practice. Smeared, covered, screamed, shouted. So, students, the farmer's wife uh, returned home with a basket full of groceries and the mongoose was waiting for her at the door. He saw her and ran to welcome her. The farmer's wife saw the face and paws of the mongoose uh, were smeared with blood. Well, I continue with the next paragraph. You wicked animal, you have killed my baby, she screamed hysterically. She was blind with rage and with all her strength brought down the heavy basket full of groceries on the blood smeared mongoose and ran inside to the child's cradle. The baby was fast asleep but on the floor lay a black snake torn and bleeding. In a flash, she realized what had happened. She ran out looking for the mongoose. Oh, you saved my child. You killed the snake. What have I done? She cried, touching the mongoose, who lay dead and still unaware of her sobbing. The farmer's wife, who had acted hastily and rashly, stared long at the dead mongoose. Then she heard the baby crying. Wiping her tears, she went in to feed him. Here the meaning for the words in the above paragraph. Historically means emotionally, blind with rage, full of anger. In a flash, quickly, sobbing, crying, hastily, quickly, rashly, carelessly. So, students, the farmer's wife thought that the mongoose had killed her son. So, she hit the mongoose hard with her basket full of groceries and the mongoose died instantly. She ran inside the house and she saw her baby fast asleep in the cradle. Nearby, a black snake lay dead in a pool of blood. She understood that the mongoose had killed the snake and saved her son. She repented over her rash and foolish action. She started crying but in vain and it was too late. Actually, her quick and careless decision had killed the innocent and friendly mongoose. So, this story teaches us a lesson that we must think before doing anything. We must think before taking any decision and not act hastily. So, I now watch this video where you can see the fight between a mongoose and a snake. The dusty plains of southern India are the venue for one of nature's most astonishing hunts. It's an unusual face-off. In one corner, the cobra. Spectacled cobras can grow up to more than seven feet in length. Their venom attacks the nerves, which can kill a human in as little as 30 minutes. Cobras are normally shy, but when threatened, they can become very aggressive. Especially when a furry predator starts sniffing around. In the other corner, the mongoose. At first glance, this curious mammal may not look like much competition for a cobra. But the Indian gray mongoose is quite the predator itself and its lightning-fast reflexes and thick hide have enabled it to add snakes like the cobra to its list of favored foods. 
the snake tries to warn the mongoose away, making use of that famous hood and raspy hiss. But the mongoose is persistent and on the hunt. When the mongoose moves into attack, the cobra strikes and misses. Again and again. Each time, the mongoose dances just out of reach. But when the mongoose attacks, he doesn't miss. Snake will be on the menu tonight. Rudyard Kipling would be proud. Hope you found the video interesting. Thanks for watching. Om Namah Shivaya.